Sharks. My name's Carson Kropfel. I'm an 11-year-old inventor, skater, and surfer. This is my friend, Sierra. Hi, Sharks. Hi, Sierra. Hi, Sierra. Hey. I'm his mom, Carrie, and we're from San Clemente, California. I am seeking $60,000 for 15% of my company. You just saw my first invention. It's called Street Tubes. It lets riders surf anywhere, anytime, because it looks and feels like you're totally getting tubed. My second invention was when I first started middle school, and it was the first time I ever had a locker. My locker was decked out and awesome, but none of my skateboards would fit in it. So I decided, what the heck? Why not just make one my own? This is a locker board. Locker boards are handmade and reshaped from recycled skateboard decks. At only 16 inches long, they fit easily inside of backpacks and lockers. And they're good for the planet. Thanks, Mom. Let's pass out some samples. Robert, get on the board. <laughs> I'm gonna get on the board. Thank you. Great, thank you. Oh, Carson, love the hair. Thanks. Thank you. Very cool. Thank you, sharks. Bye. Bye. Good job, Sierra. Bye, Cece. Great job. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> sharks, the benefit of you investing in my company is that you'll be a part of something that has been inspiring people all over the world. I've been surfing with sharks since I was five years old. So go ahead, hit me with some questions. <laughs> All right. Normally a skateboard's this big, is it, or? Uh, yes. Is this the first time anyone's ever cut it down to size? It's the only uh, skateboard that fits inside a backpack. But I've seen small ones before. What's unique about it? Uh, they're good for the planet, easy to take anywhere, and they're super fun to ride. And also, the square shape lets you still do tricks because of the corners, and your feet can stay on it, and it won't be too wobbly. Where are you getting the old boards from? Uh, Van Skateboards has a monthly recycling program for me at two of their skate parks, and I get about 50 boards a month from them. And they give them to you, or right now you, you're buying them? Uh, give them to me. Are you selling any today? For nine months, I have been selling all over the country. How are you selling it across the country online? Social media. Sierra, your girlfriend? No. Wow. What will you do with the money if, if somebody puts it up? Manufacturing, upgrading my website, buying uh, trucks and wheels, hardware in bulk. How many skateboards have you sold? I have sold 231. What does it cost you to make one? So the deck cost me $3, but now Vance put me in touch with their manufacturer, Madrid Skateboards. So that cost $13, and I'm now selling them for $52. Wholesale. Wow. Wholesale. Wholesale. Retail, what's the price? Um, $99. I mean, I remember when I started in business, my headmaster called me into the study and said, look, you either leave school and you run your business, or you stay at school and you don't run your business. I was 15, I said, okay, I'm off. I dropped out of high school when I was 16, so I waited an extra year. Did you really drop out of school at yeah, 16? Yeah, I was a high school dropout. Did you go to college? Yeah, I was 16, dropped out of high school, started taking graduate level classes, and got my MBA by the time I was 19, transferred those back to high school so I could graduate from high school. I'm curious, Richard, what was your first business? The first sort of um, was to start a magazine to campaign against the Vietnamese War that was going on. So it became a national magazine for young people. And wow. that was my education. But look, this is great, uh, but you're going to stay at school, so you're going to have to learn to delegate because yeah. too many people think they can do it all themselves. So, Carson, you said that you had gotten some help to make these because you can't make them anymore. What's your deal with them? Uh, Madrid Skateboards, and they are manufacturing my boards, doing everything, and then I just put the trucks and wheels on. How do I know there isn't a Carson in New Jersey doing the same thing? The main reason skaters buy product is from brand, brand loyalty. When they So when they go to buy a locker board, they're going to want a locker board, not some fake. Two, they're really hard to make. You have to have all the right equipment, all the right hardware. And three, I'm in patent pending status. You kill it, Bam! Carson. Drop the mic! Bam! Bam! <laughs> you know, here's what I think. I, you know, I would not invest in your company now because I think that you have so much growth and giving up 15 or 20% of your company right now is absolutely absurd. You have a lot of room to grow and I think you'll do it without us. So I'm out. Okay. Carson, I love what you're doing. I want to make you an offer, okay? I'll give you the $60,000, but I want 20%. And my plan is not just to help you manufacture, because you have Madrid to do that. That part's all taken yes. care of. But to really help you build up your YouTube, help you build up your Instagram. So if you want to be my partner, I'm happy to make the investment. Wow. What do you say? 
Before he answers, <laughs> I, I, I was going to suggest that I, I was going to suggest that I was going to suggest that you and I work together on it. Nope. No. No. Nope. Oh, all right. So what do you think? You and I work together. Oh, I know. If he's not going to work with me, I'll make you an offer. I'll offer you sixty-five thousand dollars for twenty percent. For twenty percent. So Carson, I'm. I'm Robert. <laughs> I love things that are cool and fun. I really don't think you should sell any of your business at this point because it's just too soon. I don't want any of the equity. What I'll do is I'll give you the sixty thousand dollars as a loan. What interest rate, Robert? W whatever bank okay, rate Eight percent, give or take, take, right? I'm offering sixty thousand dollars for twenty percent, wow. and Sir Richard Branson is offering sixty-five thousand dollars for twenty percent. And we're what would help. you like to do? Uh, Richard, if you're going to invest, uh, how would you help my company? Oh, you're going to interview oh. him. I like, <laughs> I like it. Oh. You got guts, Carson. <laughs> wow. When you said you wanted to do everything, I, rem I remember I had this magazine and somebody wanted to buy it. Went to lunch to sell the, sell the company. So I said, I'm going to start student airlines. I'm going to start um, you know, student record shops, student this. And they got completely panicked. And so when you said you wanted to do everything, I, I remembered that moment when I wanted to do everything. Let me be honest. I see a young Richard Branson in you. <laughs> You've got a wonderful story to tell. You're very articulate. You know, the product itself is great. We'd love you to give it a shot with us. <laughs> It's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great, thank you. Thank you so Great. much. Thank you. Great, thank you. Good Great job, deal. Carson. Good job, yeah. Carson. Good job, thank Carrie. You. Thank you so much. I chose Richard Branson because he would help me the most internationally. Internationally, right? yeah. And uh, also, he had the highest offer, and I felt like, whew, make a little bit more. <laughs>